the word of God. And he says, although they are rebellious, don't let them entice you to be rebellious as they are. You need to stay holy. You need to stay pure. And how was that possible for Ezekiel? It was possible because God said that he gave him a role. He gave him the word of God to eat. Remember when Jesus was in the wilderness and he was facing off against Satan 40 days and 40 nights. He was fasting and he was hungry. He didn't fight physically with Satan. He didn't come up with all of these spiritual remarks to Satan. He used the word of God and he used it accurately. He used exactly what God gave him in that very moment and that's the same with Ezekiel as we read and meditate upon scripture day in and day out God will cause us to know what scripture to say at the right time because remember there's a time and a place for everything one scripture of I know the word of God is all power every single tittle every single dot every single sentence every single passage in the bible is of power and it's the full authority of god however paul says that he fights as one that doesn't beat the air we want to be very accurate and precise in our approach with explaining scripture and using it as a weapon because that's what it is so therefore the bible says in hebrews that the word of god is a double-edged sword it pierces between soul and spirit it cuts between the joints and the marrow discerns the deepest intentions of our hearts we know that the word of god is a sword but what good is a sword if you're using it backwards what if you're not using the blade and you're using the handle instead to hit the enemy that's exactly what it's like when you're not precisely using scripture that's exactly what it is like when you're saying all these verses but it's it's not effective because it's not what's supposed to be said. Even Satan, he used the word of God out of context. You know, so therefore, uh, I love the book of Psalms. If you don't know what to say, if you don't know what scripture to say when you're in spiritual warfare, don't say anything at all. Let your tongue cleave to the roof of your mouth. Don't speak. It's better for you not to speak than for you to just blurt out scripture. And I know that God, he has grace, he shows mercy on whom he will. But we see again with Jesus, Jesus didn't just blurt out anything to Satan as he was in the wilderness. He used scripture and he used it effectively. He used it in within his context and he defeated Satan by that. And we see again, Paul said when he runs, he doesn't run uncertainly as if he doesn't know where he's going. He runs with purpose and he doesn't shadow box as one beating the air but he hits on target we see right here that god gave ezekiel specific commandments on what to do with his ministry he didn't say ezekiel just say that i'm god just say that you've heard from me no he told ezekiel he said number one don't be rebellious as the israelites are don't be that way and he said, eat what I give you, which is the word of God. It was a scroll. And then he told Ezekiel to stand up on your feet. And this is symbolic to you being a soldier, standing strong in the grace of God, standing up and being assertive with what God has given you so that others could benefit from it. Remember, God, he's made us more than a conqueror through his love. We don't lay down and let the enemy stomp all over us when it's time for war when it's time for that season of going forth in the power of the lord you have to stand up and be bold as a lion you can't just be you know oh it's all right you know god is going to do it no if god has called you to do it you have to step up you have to be bold and you have to be brave just as esther was we remember esther when mordecai told her he said hey if you don't step up and go to the king and save the jews then deliverance is going to come from somewhere else and what was her response to that she said i'm going to go into the king and if i die i die if i perish i perish that's the mentality that we have to have for the Lord. We have to stand up and we have to do what he told Ezekiel to do when it comes to confronting sin. All right. 